Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Natoya and I'm here to help you start traveling the world. So in this video guys, we are going to talk about how you can spend one day on a budget in Disneyland Paris. So me, my sister and her two kids decided to spend one glorious day in Disneyland Paris last month, September 2021. And we picked up a few things, a, few, a handful of things that I'm going to share with you in this video to help you save some cash. So first of all, here is the really, 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 really good news. Disneyland Paris is actually not as expensive as you probably will think compared to Disneyland in Orlando. That's even in euros. I have to say it's not as expensive and we still had a really, really great time. So this is going to be a short and quick video. I'm just going to get to the point. I'm just going to share some simple, actionable tips you can take before going to Disneyland Paris. So this video is one of three videos I have on Disneyland Paris. Be sure to check that out. It's linked in the playlist below. So let's jump right into it. Let's talk about when to go to Disneyland Paris. So like any other destination or attraction in the world, the best time to visit is off season. And the main reason why is because the ticket is so much cheaper. So for each of us, we paid 50 euros each to get in for a one day pass to get into Disneyland Paris. So we could have either went to Disneyland Paris or the other one, Universal Studios or something, something like that. Um, we had to choose between one of those and it was a one day pass. Because in Disneyland in Orlando, uh, we went in January of last year, we paid $129 each, which is insane. And I'm comparing Disneyland Paris and Magic Kingdom in Orlando because they are so similar. They have that little castle thing, well, large castle thing. So those are really what I'm comparing right now. So I'll link the website in the description of where we bought our tickets. We, like I said, it was just only 50 euros, but different times of the year. Obviously during the summertime, it's gonna be a lot of money. So try to go off season. And when you're traveling off season, just make sure you know what the weather is gonna be like. I know certain parts of the year in Paris, I think the winter time, it rains a lot. So just know what the weather is like so you can prepare. The next thing you're gonna have to think about is how to get to Paris Disneyland on a budget. So this was so awesome. Again, I'm comparing it to Orlando. To get to Paris Disneyland compared to Orlando, you can take public transportation. So of course, there's many different ways to get into Paris Disneyland. But the most common way is to take the A train and, and you'll stop at this stop here. I'll put it somewhere on the screen. I can't remember how to pronounce it. I don't even remember the name of the stop, to be honest. I just know it starts with an M. But you would take the A train to the very last stop and that will be the stop. So to get to the A train, it depends, it depends on where you are in Paris. So in some parts of Paris, say you're coming from the Louvre, you could take in that area the A train stops. You can take the A train directly from that area all the way to Paris, Disneyland. But if you were like me and you were staying in the neighborhood of Montmartre, I needed to take the Metro, the, the four train, and then connect to the A train. And then I got to Paris, Disneyland. So of course your price would vary based on where you're leaving from, but just simply use Google Maps to find directions from your location in Paris to Paris, Disneyland. But for all of us, one way, we paid about 26 euros, which is what, about seven, seven euros each, which I don't think it's very bad. And what's so awesome about taking the train into Paris Disneyland is that you can walk directly from the train station to Paris Disneyland. It's literally like a five minute walk. You don't have to worry about taking a cab. You don't have to worry about walking a long distance. It's literally right there. They made it so easy for us. So skip the fancy tourist bus that you can get from the Paris city center, skip it. Um, it's actually costing you more money to do that. It's, it's, it might be convenient, it might be fun, but it's just costing you more money. You can just take public transportation. The next simple way you can save money at Paris Disneyland is to pack some food, some snacks, some drinks. What I really liked about Paris Disneyland, like people there, there was like a culture of uh, we're bringing our food, we're making our food right here. We're not spending money, money on this expensive food. People literally had Tupperwares full of food, like fruit. I, I, seen, I seen one lady with a huge Tupperware full of um, 
grapes cut up and just ready for her kids to grab. I seen some people with uh, a baguette and then some meat, some cheese, and they just made a sandwich right there. Of course, people had sandwiches, drinks, water. People were not playing around in Paris Disneyland and they were not trying to spend a lot of money. And I highly, highly recommend you do the same. What I recommend is that you pack like a heavy meal to have at Paris Disneyland and then just buy some fun snacks at the park like ice cream. Also a fun treat for your kids would be uh, popcorn. My nieces love to get popcorn when we go to any theme park. So you can, you can save some money for popcorn and ice cream or other fun treats for your kids. We got some gelato at the park and in total it was 15, about 15, 16 euros for four ice creams, which I don't think is very bad. The next way you can save big at Paris Disneyland is buying those cute little um, Mickey ears or just uh, Disney themed things to walk around the park with and take your pictures. Go to Amazon and get that gear before you get to Paris Disneyland. It's like literally half the price on Amazon. And it looks like the same exact way. There's so many di di different items to choose from on, on Amazon. You can get something for each family member. You guys can actually get a, ma a matching uh, Mickey ears. That's what I did when I went last year, when I went to Disneyland last year in Orlando. We, we went to Amazon and we all got the matching Disney ears and it cost like nothing. So actually my sister paid about 16 euros and 23 euros for the two different headpieces for my nieces. That Disney gear thing is so expensive in the park. I just don't think it's worth it. And it might be exciting for your kids to get it there, but it, it's even more exciting for your kids, I think, to put it on at the hotel or at the Airbnb and wear it on the train and to the park. I think that's even more exciting and it saves you money. And I say that because I've seen some kids on the train with their Disney ears and they were so excited. So it works out better to just save money, get it on Amazon, and get your kids excited while on the way to the park. So in the description, I'll link the one I had at Disneyland last year that was super cheap, and some other fun headbands that you can buy too to save money at the park. So guys, Disneyland Paris is a, a lot cheaper than the, the parks in uh, the United States. There's so many different ways of saving money, but the tips I just gave you, they're actionable. They won't re ruin your time and you won't feel like you're being super cheap. That's why I just gave you those basic tips. If you have any tips on saving money in at Disneyland Paris, be sure to write it in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell notification. Of course, like this video and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.